I'm Anil Kumar and here is a very interesting application question on derivatives of trigonometric functions. I'd like you to pause the video, copy the question and then move forward. The question here is, a 6 feet display sign is 3 feet off the ground. Find the distance from the sign of a point on the ground where the substantive angle of the sign is a maximum. So let me first sketch and then we'll again read the question and try to understand the situation, right? Let us say this is the ground, right? And then we have a display sign three feet off the ground on some wall, let us say, right? So, so what we have here is, let us say this is three feet for us and then that is twice almost. So we have a display sign here. Okay, that is the display sign. And what is given to us is, that this display sign is three feet off the ground. So it is three feet off the ground and six feet is the is the display sign itself. So that is six feet. Find the distance from the sign of a point on the ground where the substantive angle of the sign is maximum. So what we need to find is a point on the ground somewhere on this ground where the angle which this picture makes is maximum. So kind of like this. So we are looking for the angle theta let us say to be maximum. So some point on the ground let us call this point as P right. So that is the question for us. We need to maximize the sight, this angle, right? So that is the question. I hope it is absolutely clear. Now let me write down, uh, label this a bit, A, B, and let us say C, right? So that is the picture, A to B, 6 feet, 3 feet above the ground, point P is on the ground, and we want to maximize the angle theta so we want to find what is this distance x from where this point will be from where maximum angle theta is possible so this is the question for you how are you going to solve it you can still pause the video answer the question and then look into my suggestion right well to solve this question we will use trigonometric functions and let us see how they make the job so simple for us otherwise this is indeed a very difficult question so so what we will consider is we want to maximize this angle let us say that this small angle is let, it, let me use a different ink uh, let us say that this small angle is alpha right and the big angle here is beta okay in that case you can write tan of theta you can write tan of theta as equal to theta is b beta minus alpha right which is equals to tan of beta minus alpha right i hope that point is very clear right so this angle theta could be beta minus alpha that's clear so tan of theta is same as tan of beta minus alpha now if you know remember the trigonometric formula what is tan beta minus alpha that is tan beta minus tan alpha divided by 1 plus tan alpha tan beta right so you could have written beta or alpha the order doesn't matter here okay so that is first part now in this case what is tan beta tan beta is this big triangle if you see is that side AC which is 6 plus 3 9 right so this side is 9 for us so tan you know is opposite over adjacent side so tan beta is 9 over x so instead of tan beta I will write 9 over x minus tan of alpha the small triangle is 3 over x so 3 over x divided by 1 plus 9 over x times 3 over x. Let's try to simplify this. Common denominator is x here. So what we will do is we can just multiply by x squared. So we'll get 9x minus 3x which is 6x. We get 6x in the numerator divided by 
if you multiply by x square you get x square here right plus x square cancels 9 times 3 27 this is what you get all this is equals to tan theta perfect now we have two variables to work with theta and the angle x we can take derivative with respect to x that is our function right so we can take derivative with respect to x on both sides so at this stage we are taking derivative with respect to x right on both the sides so in that case what do you get so you get uh, derivative of tan theta secant square theta so we get secant square theta times d theta dx right equals 2 here we'll apply the quotient rule so we have denominator as x square plus 27 whole square derivative of 6x six is 6 6 times x square plus 27 minus 6x times derivative of denominator which is 2x right now that could be simplified we have x square plus 27 whole square and 6x square plus 6 times 27 I'm not multiplying them at present and here we have minus 12x square so 6x square minus 12x square is how much let me continue here itself it gives me 6 times 27 minus 6x square in the numerator right uh, that is x square plus 27 whole square right here you can of course take uh, 6 and 6 common so we get 27 minus x square correct now for critical number for critical number this should be 0 right so for critical number d theta dx equals to 0 now that is going to be 0 only if we have this numerator as 0 right that means we are saying 6 times 27 minus 6x square equals to 0 right so we cannot solve for x so we get x square equals to 6 and 6 cancel 27 right and x will be square root of 27 now since x is the distance we will take only the positive value so that is a critical number so we can approximately find this number which is square root of 27 yes 3 square root 3 5.196 which is equal to 5.196 okay units will be in feet right so that is the unit now the idea is to also show that this is indeed a maximum so this is very important to show now for that we will analyze d theta dx so we'll analyze d theta dx on points which are either side of square root of 27 right so square root of 27 and see what is correct so we can write square root of 27 here which is a right here if I am taking a bigger number let me write square root of 30 which is a bigger number and square root of let us say 25 is 5 anyway uh, because it is x square let me write square root of 26 okay doesn't matter okay I didn't want to write square root 25 now if I substitute denominator is positive correct if I substitute here 26 square it is 6 times 27 this is 6 times 26 of course that is going to be a positive value right so this is going to be positive right if I substitute 30 then this minus sign will be here to be negative so clearly on the left side derivative is increasing and then it is decreasing and that indicates a maximum right so we have a maximum for square root of 27 correct okay? so for x value of square root of 27 we do get a maximum correct okay? that is very clear now let's get back to the angle itself we started with tan theta equals to all this so what is theta we have to still find that right so what is theta 
distance we know how far away to so say find the distance from the sign of the bow point on this where the subtending angle is made. Okay. Now, so in this particular example, we need to, to find the distance, correct? So the distance is correct, so we get our answer. And the answer is distance should be approximately 5. Point, let us say 2 feet, right? 5.196. 5.2 feet so that is the distance at times you may be asked for the angle right so at times you may be asked for the angle so the question for you is find the maximum angle now to find the maximum angle you need to substitute this value of square root 27 in this formula tan theta equals to 6x over x square plus 27 and then tan inverse will give you the angle theta right so that is how you can actually find the maximum angle also I hope in this example you understand how to solve such questions right? it's very interesting and important example you'll get many questions like this you could get a question like imagine this is kind of a hockey net right and a player is three feet away and if it moves outside perpendicular to this way what could be the distance from the goal line so that you get the maximum angle so like that also we could have a question correct and uh, this type of approach which you have taken as difference of angle is seen in many examples so I'd like you to go through this example properly, understand the concept, how we have used difference of angle to solve a question using trigonometric derivatives. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.